guys, it's Tilly, and today I'm here with my December wrap-up. If you guys watched my December TBR video, thank you guys for helping me choose which books to read. I had a goal of reading five books this month, and I managed to read six, so I was very, very happy with myself because I hadn't been reading books for the last few months. So I turned to you guys to help encourage me to read more, and it kind of worked, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let me know if you guys think I should do a, like, the same thing, like a January TBR video, and you guys can help me to choose which books to read again. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed it, I'm happy to keep doing it because it worked for me. So, to the books that I read, I read six of them, and there were some good books and some books that I did not like, and some that were just pretty average, so I will get to them now. The first book that I read was A Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I did a book review slash book talk video on this, which I will leave a link to below. I loved this book. I gave it five stars and all of my praise because somehow they managed to do a book better than Illuminae, and Gemini just absolutely deserves all the hype that it has, and it was fantastic. If you guys like sci-fi, I highly recommend you guys look at the Illuminae files. It is so good, it's action-packed, it's fastly written, and it's done in a style that doesn't actually have like a certain point of view, but very many different types of point of views, in the sense that you can have like security camera footage or like a chat site talking, and yeah, it was really, really fantastic. Then I read the first book, The Bad Beginning, in a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket. This was so much fun. I love these books so much. I read the first few before when I was younger but I have not read the complete series but I will get around to doing that yeah I, I just it was great plus you have the Netflix series coming out soon and I got this box set for an absolute bargain so I'm pretty damn happy then I read Heartless by Marissa Meyer I got this book in the YA Chronicle subscription box and yeah it was it was good this I think gave an average rating to I think it was like a three star rating although it was fun it was slow in parts and the ending felt really rushed Writing in typical Marissa Meyer fashion was fantastic. This book follows the story of the Queen of Hearts, who we all know as the evil character in Alice in Wonderland, except that this is her before she turned into the Queen of Hearts. So she was just known as Catherine back then. And you guys find out why she turned into the lady we all know and hate. This next book was the book that I did not enjoy this month, and that is Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. I did a full review on this one as well, so I will leave a link to it below so you guys can watch it where I go more in depth about why I don't like it. But for me, it was just really slow, I didn't relate to the characters, and there were certain other things. So this story is about three sisters who are all fighting for the crown. They all have very different elements that they can control. So you have one that is a poisoner, one that is a naturalist, and one that can do the elements like fire and earth and everything like that and they all must fight to basically become the one queen. And lastly, I read The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renée Adhi, and I loved these books so much. I still only gave them an average rating on Goodreads, but that was mostly because, like, there was plot holes and things in this that were quite generic and typical, and I could definitely point out what was going to happen, but I was absolute trash for these books. I fell in love with the characters and the really nice, beautiful, fun, and easy writing style as well, and I just I just love the covers and everything about the storyline. I just loved it, if you guys didn't get by that quick ramble. So in this you have Shazi who gets married to this boy king who is known for murdering every single wife that he has had within like the first night of their wedding. And so Shazi goes in there with revenge on her mind and something happens. The boy king does not choose to murder her. And so the plot continues and things happen and it is fantastic. So there you guys have the books that I read in December. Once again, let me know if you guys want me to do a January TBR video and I will organize that. What books did you guys read the month of December and which one was your favourite and leave that in the comments below and until then have a lovely bookish day and hopefully great things happen to you. Hey guys it's Tilly and today I am here with a Wire Chronicles unboxing. This is the December box and I'm very excited to get into this. 